If you would like to use your keyboard and mouse with your attached devices, such as an iPhone or an iPad, then stick around because I'm going to tell you how to do it for free in this video. Hello, welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alec, and in this video, I'm going to tell you about a great little utility that you can pick up for free. Uh, there is a paid upgrade to it, but uh, you may find you don't even need the paid upgrade. I actually paid to upgrade it just because. <laughs> just because it's such a great little handy app and I use it all the time during the day. So what is it for? Well, it's basically so that you can use your keyboard and mouse that you've got attached to your Mac, obviously, uh, on something like an iPhone or uh, an iPad. So if you want to type in a quick message, something like that, to be able to control the, uh, the keyboard on your uh, iPhone or iPad from your Mac. So let me uh, just get into it and show you uh, how it works, shall I? <laughs> uh, so first of all, it's called Keypad, Keyboard and Mouse for uh, Mac and so this is available in the Mac App Store. So this is not an, an iPhone app, it is actually a Mac app and so you'll find it in the Mac App Store and as I say it is free to download. There is an uh, in-app purchase which basically allows you to use it with more than one device uh, and the in-app purchase is get ready, brace yourselves for the expense that is, <laughs> wherever it is, down here somewhere, $2.99. I mean, it's pretty ridiculous, really. Uh, I'd recommend just buying it anyway, <laughs> just for, you know, if you find it useful on one device, then uh, give the developer some love, because at $2.99, it certainly saved me far more time than that in the time that I've been using it. I do actually only use it on one device. It's really actually only for my mobile, but uh, anyway, there you go. Let me show you how it works, because it's pretty simple, really. Uh, I'll come and uh, share another part of my screen. Here we go. Let me come to this one. <laughs> so uh, get this bit out of the way. So up in the menu bar, I've basically got this little icon here that looks like a little keyboard with, uh, I suppose, a keyboard and a Wi-Fi symbol both combined. And what you do is you click on this and then you've got different devices that you can connect to it. So if I click into the preferences over here uh, and basically you can add different devices. So you can see that I've just got my uh, my iPhone, Alex iPhone, and I've got a hotkey assigned to it. So if I want to toggle between my phone and my keyboard and my uh, Mac that the, uh, the, the keyboard is controlling, then I just press that hotkey. And of course, I've actually programmed that into my stream deck. Now, you may have noticed that just below me, <laughs> just down here, I've actually got my uh, my iPhone showing up there. So here you can see the normal operation of the iPhone where I've got my keyboard. So if I, I'm in just the notes at the moment, if I type hello, uh, that's coming up there. And I've just typed that on the actual keyboard of the phone itself. But if I press my hotkey to trigger the um, uh, keypad, <laughs> then this is what happens. You uh, First of all, down below, you'll notice that the keyboard has now dropped completely out of view, uh, and you also get this window that appears on the screen. So uh, it's come back again now because I've come back into my Mac. Let me do that again. <laughs> I'll toggle it on. It takes a little moment to, uh, uh, to pair or to attach, but once it is, now I can type on my regular keyboard. So now I'm typing on my regular keyboard, I think you get the impression. <laughs> Hello, this is me typing with typos, of course, on my Max keyboard. And of course, the arrow keys and everything all work as you would expect them to. You're just basically editing text. You can also shift to highlight. So I'm now highlighting text just down below. Uh, so I can shift. I can uh, use uh, command X to cut. I can uh, paste it back in. So you can do all the things that you can do on a Mac, but you're just basically doing it on your phone now. Um, because uh, you do have that functionality already built into the phone if you've, if you've got an attached a Bluetooth keyboard. And that's basically what this is doing. It's basically just emulating a Bluetooth keyboard connected to the phone because you do actually connect the phone over Bluetooth uh, when you uh, set it up. Uh, and so that's done by here in these preferences, launch Bluetooth settings, and that's where you just basically pair it. And anything that you've got paired will uh, uh, be appear in here. You've also got some other controls on here, by the way. So once you are paired to a device, this little control panel pops up and you can either power off. Uh, you can go to the home screen. You've got some controls for sort of brightness. So you can see that as I'm changing the brightness here, it's actually changing the brightness down below on the uh, the phone itself. 
Uh, you've also got copy and paste and that copies and pastes stuff from your Mac. So if I click on this one, it will actually paste whatever I've copied from my Mac, which happens to be a date string <laughs> for no apparent reason. Um, you've also uh, can show and hide the keyboard. So if, for example, you wanted to get the uh, emoji picker or something like that up, then you do have the option uh, just here to toggle this on and off. And as I click that, you'll notice down below the keyboard pops back up again from the uh, on the on the phone. Uh, you've also got search, you've got tracks, so uh, tracks. <laughs> you've got some music controls, so these control the music on the uh, the phone, uh, and then also some volume controls. So, like I say, you can see that that's changing the volume, and then if you click there, it would take you back to uh, the home. Now, I don't actually have my uh, iPad connected to this, but if I did, then uh, you also have uh, mouse controls as well. So you just uh, you can you you would share the mouse basically. So as with the uh, uh, the more recent iPad uh, releases, you can now actually use a mouse with the iPad, or this would allow you to share your mouse settings with the iPad as well. That is about all there is to it. It is as simple as that, and it's a great little app, and I use it all the time. If I'm sitting at my desk and a message has come in or something like that, and I need to write a response, I will almost invariably press the little button on my stream deck to toggle over my keyboard and just type out a response on my regular keyboard but have it appear on the uh, on the phone and as i say for 2.99 uh, i've just bought the upgrade even though i haven't actually used it for any other devices because it's such a time saver. Well, I hope you have found that useful. It is a really great little utility app. Uh, and as I say, for the price, well, free, but even if you just pay the money upgrade for the uh, $2.99, it's still a great little time saver and I use it all the time. So I'll leave a link to some other app related uh, videos over on the uh, right hand side. And until the next video, have a wonderful day.